Well, we got the We all unbolted there. They're 21 millimeter. Took them all out. Now we're pulling the tire off. And as I turn this wheel around, maybe you guys can see it in the light. Um, all the oil sitting in it. It's just pretty much covered in oil. So let's whoops, get that out of here. We'll be cleaning that up for it right back on. Okay, now we have the whole, uh, we'll pull off the caliper. And uh, the bolts to hold them on is 12 millimeter. And uh, yes, if you can see, I did put this up on uh, some jack stands. In the front, I did put blocks on the wheels to hold it. You want safety first here because you don't want this thing to uh, fall off as you're in the air here. And even been building up in the brake. No wonder I can't stop this thing. And the fun part. If this brake is jammed on, which sometimes it is. Can't get it out. Can't get this off that easy. So. Oops, and then you do that. I do push it back. There we go. friend out. Lovely. Pure oil. This is why you uh, fix the leaks. You actually be able to stop when you're fixed. Now we gotta pull them off. Really don't have to, but it'll be cleaner to when we work in there to get the bearing out. Find one of the sides and pull it apart. And it hasn't been opened in about three years, so it wants to be. So it's like a little small drum inside your main disc. It's got the little clips. You just grab this bar and turn it. See right here, I got that one. Just grab it, hold that, turn it. So now what I have to do is other side, obviously. I put the truck in neutral. I gotta rotate that around, and I'll show you 
the pin on how to take it out. Okay, so let's let me go take care of the other side.